and welcome to Cisco Small Business Video on Demand. I'm going to demonstrate how to configure SSL VPN client on the Cisco Small Business RV320 and RV325. The RV320 series routers are easy to configure, providing a secure connection, adding growth, mobility, and collaboration to your business. After you log into the router, click on Setup. First, you'll need to change your WAN IP address to Static. Scroll down to the WAN setting table. Select the WAN port you wish to modify, then click Edit. For WAN connection type, choose Static IP, then click Save. Here you'll need to enter your public IP address settings provided by your internet service provider. After you've saved your settings, click on Firewall. Next, click on the SSL VPN checkbox, Enable, and then click Save. Next, click on SSL VPN, and then click on Group Management. Here you have the option to create your own user group or use a default. For this demonstration, I'm going to use mobile user. First, you'll need to enable the group, and then you may select the resources that you wish your users to have access to. After you've saved your settings, click on Advanced Setting. Here you'll have three options to change your service port. For this demonstration, I'm going to use port 10443. Under the banner, you can put your business name and the resource name for users when they log in. For this demonstration, I'm going to use ABC Company and the resource name is VPN. After you save your settings, click on User Management. Then click on Add and enter the username and password for your end user. Next, you'll need to assign the user to a group. For this demonstration, we're using Mobile User and then click Save. Now we are ready to log in to the SSL VPN. From a remote PC, open your web browser and type in https colon forward slash forward slash the public address of the router colon 10443 and then hit enter. You will then be at the login page and log in with your new user and password and then click login. Notice up at the top, you will see the banner. Welcome username, company name, and resource name. Under service, you'll have the internal services specified in the resource group. If you click on the web service, this will allow you to enter the host name or IP address of the server you wish to connect to. If you click on terminal application, these are the terminal services that are available from the resource management. Next, click on My Desktop. Here you can provide users with Remote Desktop or VNC. If you click on RDP5, you can enter the host name or IP address of the server you wish to connect to. Next, click on Virtual Passage. This allows authorized users to obtain an IP address and become part of the internal network. That concludes this demonstration of how to set up SSL VPN on an RV320 router. Here is a list of more Cisco Small Business devices that may also suit your business needs. For more information, visit www.cisco.com, or if you need technical support, please call 1-866-606-1866. Thank you for choosing Cisco for Small Business, and I'd like to thank you for watching.